in my barn slash workshop putting together a chick brooder for about 80 chicks that I'm expecting in the mail on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I have a general idea of what I would like to create, very simple, um, <laughs> because I'm not a carpenter and can't handle much more than simple. So at this point what I have is I've taken three pieces of lumber, two by ten by eight, cut one in half to create two four foot lengths, half of those on each end, took the other two eight foot lengths and created the sides so I have a very basic simple rectangle. I have the same amount of lumber to repeat the process to create a second level. Some of the goals I have with this chick brooder, I would like to create something that is appealing to the eye, something that is very sturdy, and something that's also versatile. So before I go ahead and process the lumber to create the second level, I have two 4x4x8 four by four by pieces of lumber. I'm going to cut those in half to basically create table legs. Um, I will put one in each corner. It will give a base for the second level to go onto. I have plywood that would serve as the as the floor of the chip brooder, but I'll cut the corner out of each to make a really smooth fit. It's very important with this project to add a second level so that over time the chicks have room to grow. posts in place. I have the lumber cut and assembled into the two levels I was looking to create height with. The floor is down. I have to come up with a plan to create a top door. I got a call in my office from my local post office saying that your chicks have arrived. Come pick them up. I know I have a little bit of time before they have to be in a large space like the chick brooder. I have a small plastic, basically Tupperware bin, um, heat lamp, shavings, food. I'll be okay for a couple of days. It'll get me by and give me the opportunity to finish the chick brooder project. A friend I trust told me that with day-old chicks, they need to kind of learn the difference between what their food is versus what their bedding is. So if you put a little bit of food down on a clean surface, it helps them to learn. Saturday morning, it is sunny and breezy, about 55 degrees. Before I move forward with creating the door, the top hatch to this, um, I'm going to paint the inside first. I figure it'd be easier to paint without any obstructions than not. Uh, I'm using a basic white high gloss exterior paint um, for a couple of reasons. I would like this chick brooder to look nice. I have a lot of customers that come on the farm throughout my CSAC, and for cleaning purposes, ducks, chicks, they make an incredible mess. I feel like with a high gloss exterior paint, uh, it will also protect the wood, which will give me longevity. Hopefully I'll have this for a number of years.
So at this point, the door, the hatch, is obviously on. I still have some finishing touches to do with the paint. I can put some handles on here, I can put some lock protectors, and I'd like to put some trim around the edges. And then perhaps tomorrow night I can move the chicks in. I think that being at this height, it's a little awkward to clean it out regularly. So I just unscrewed the ends of this front board, put a couple hinges in, and hopefully this will make my life a little easier. The chick food is almost done and it's moving day. At this point, the chicks are about a week and a half old. They are getting settled in their new brooder. They have water, they have grain, they have fresh bedding and two heat lamps. Aside from a few things I have to add on the exterior for mobility, the chick brooder project is basically done. At the beginning, I could have purchased something that was more common, prefabricated. However, all along I've recognized that for my long-term use, I needed something that looked a little different, that was a little more sturdy and a lot more versatile. Um, I'm not sure that I've made all the right decisions. I'm not sure I used all the correct techniques along the way. However, um, I did what I could and tried to do my best and tried to find a way and correct errors along the way. Um, what I've done might not work for everyone, but I hope it's gonna work for me. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.